What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome to day 24 of This is the Police. I feel like we're getting very close to the end of this. I think it goes for like 30 days or something. So there's a couple more episodes, but let's, let's get into it. Uh, Central Library flooded in downpour. Freeburg mortality rate up 15%. Farmers harvest record corn crop. Let's go to work. Or I could just not click the button. Whatever. It, it broke. You know what? Fuck it. It all works. Jack. I I feel like J we need to get Jack a new car. <laughs> I think that should be a priority. Uh, shift B. All of them still breathing. Can you believe it? It's a sad day in shift A today. We're going to go some boogie flavor. Bo boogie flavor. Did I say boogie flavor? The fuck is that? <laughs> Things are getting interesting in Freeburg, though. This is this is actually fire all old cops. Um, City Hall. At a recent regional conference, which was attended by people from our administration, administration, we learned that the governor wishes to lower the average age of public servants by at least five years. The city will most likely be subject to an upcoming review. Please dismiss all senior staff at the police station as quickly as possible. That's, uh, it's, it's wrong to get rid of them just because of age. You know what I mean? Like, if they're doing a shit job, then you get rid of them. But I don't think age or anything like that should be... Should be a, uh, a thing that counts towards you getting fucking fired. If you can still do the job properly, then what's the problem? An assault in the ghetto. A woman attacked her lover with a hammer after he told her he'd been cheating on her. The police, the police call came from a woman's daughter. Mum was really lost and I'm, I'm afraid she'll kill him. Let's send Kochi and Asano. My, my two leading ladies. Was this the, is, is Shift B the one that lost a bunch of people? It's not. But I feel like Shift B needs more people. Can I do that, City Hall? Can I get, um... Can I get... Uh, a raise on officer, please? Disorderly conduct. In Desiree Park. Corey Ramsey saw a group of women in the park wearing ski masks. Leading to... Two other... Uh, scantily? Scantily? Pff, fuck it, scantily. Leading two other scantily clad women with leather leashes, shouting offensive slogans at the superiority of the female sex. Judging by their unintelligible cries, the offenders seem to be preparing for a sacrifice. Uh, McNally, Yancey, and the paddy wagon can go in on this. That's a fucking weird. Assault, here we go. What happened? Did we... Did we solve it? We did. Offend the court officers unharmed, civilians unharmed, that's what we... That's why we love these two. Dynamic duo. Strike again. Yeah, so this is the one that's, um... Alright. Can I hire? I really want to hire you for shift B. Um, and I want to, hmm, the rest of you are alright, but you're not good. I'll hire you for shift B as well. Yeah, and then I can leave it there, I think. I didn't even need the request to get uh, more jobs vacant, but, shh. Disorderly conduct report. Offender caught, officers unharmed, civilian killed. <sighs> Boys, I was counting on you. Seriously. Ooh, hello. Mr. Boy, we're shooting a new advertising spot for a bamboo toilet paper company. In the ad, there's an important role played by, by a policeman. The local actors here are only good for kids stuff and we need a true professional. Someone the audiences believe is the real thing. We'd be grateful if you could provide us with some of your best employees. Uh, Kochi, Austin. Oh, 
This is risky. And Price can go. Because I feel like they're going to be out for the rest of the day. So we've got three, three that will most likely be out for the rest of the day and three that I can kind of swap in and out need be. I feel like that was a mistake. I shouldn't have put Koshi in there. Maybe McNally should have gone or Asano. It's fine. There's a theft. Someone stole a golden retriever belonging to Eddie Goldberg, owner of Eddie's Burgers. While the dog was playing in the backyard, later that day, regulars of the burger joint said they saw the dog muzzled and led around by two junkies. Uh, McNally can handle that by himself. I'm sure of it. Chief Koshi really enjoyed doing that ad, and the director thought it was it was so great, he's offering a couple other roles. I think our colleague might even quit the service and go for a career co Oh no, I lost Koshi! I lost Koshi! No! Although I did just hire that guy who has like, uh, he's like double what Koshi was, so... We'll be okay. But still, that's not good. The Sands need help. Somehow a whole army of armed punks have seized a position on one of the fields at the ranch. Obviously, we're going to drive them off by force. We've already got some men together, but a couple extra wouldn't hurt. Do I, I have to send three. I can't, I can't afford to send three of them. Sorry, Sand. Gonna have to do that one solo. All right. The kitchen at Debbie's Cafe is hopping busy. Debbie is making sausages for her new brand of hot dogs. When she notices the police, she quickly dumps the dog collar in the trash. Um, grab the collar and talk to her. What happened? Did we get the dog back in one piece? <laughs> Fuck knows. Um, do I really want to help them? Uh, yeah, Asano, Austin, and Price. You can go. Fuck, here we go. Reckless endangerment. Of course we need everybody. Great. Great. Okay, wait for McNally to get back. Here we go. An elderly veteran is dragging around a bag filled with captured weapons all loaded with live ammunition or ammunition however you want to say it <laughs> he says he's trying to demonstrate battlefield like conditions Ugh. all right i think i think uh swat and everyone should be able to handle him you'd hope you'd hope you don't know nowadays but you'd hope how are we going the sands need more help Apparently some punks are hiding out in another abandoned building. Uh, the local homeless folks normally ice over when they start asking questions. Maybe they'll do more. Blah, 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 blah. I uh, can't, can't send anyone there for the next 20-ish seconds. I might send Price to that one because it seems like it's... Seems like you just need a police force, like, presence there. And that's it. Everybody's unharmed. Good on your boys. I am not giving weapons to the mob. The theft report. Here we go. Oh, we got uh, a new frame. No new frames found. I don't know what order this would go in. I, honest to God, have no idea. Honestly. Unless it's like that, that that, that, and that, which makes sense, like that order makes sense, but uh, apparently not, unless it's like a double job here, and um, he throws it, like the guard throws it through, he jumps in, takes the painting, and then leaves. But that doesn't seem 
you know. Or. Or. He's riding along. Someone breaks the window. He looks in and takes the painting. But I don't, I, you know, I don't know. I don't have time for the investigation. I've got other shit to do. Um, I can't send anyone. What the fuck? Why can't I send anyone? Ah, oh, Asano, there. Go. Oh, no, I was going to send Price. God damn it. Oh, well. Yeah, that, that investigation stuff, I don't know. Don't know about that. Oh, it's the end of the day because everything here disappeared, so we're not getting any more jobs, which is good. And we've helped the sands out a lot today, so that's also good for us. Yeah, 21 and 7. That is a lot of chips. Alright, one more day. One more day, and then we'll, um... And then we'll, uh... We shift it. Oh god, yeah. After the other two died, this uh, became a lot more sad. <laughs> god damn. Day 25. Not enough plots at City Cemetery. Photographer films UFO park to host Bake Off. Alright. One more day and then we'll, um, we'll wrap up. All right, all right. I was up all night and couldn't sleep, and now my, and now I have this ringing in my ears. Can't take the day off. No. Some friends of mine asked to help out the animal shelter. They're barely short staff. Can I have the day off? No. You cannot. Let's go for a bit of edge comb. Yeah. Some piano blues. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Long live. This woman was an honest servant of the city. Today she was buried with military honors. And Sparky. <laughs> You all better be doing this with me. Do this with me. Side of respect, for fuck's sake. <sighs> brave, brave officers. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. We don't... We need to actually... Get some... Here we go, we got... Another slot open. Shift A... Shift A. Yeah, that's it. Fire all cops. I can't just fire all the old cops for no reason. There's a bar fight. A bar fight broke out and the bartender refuses to serve the two particularly drunk men. Okay, Samadhi and Grant. Nah. I'll send three because there was five people required for that. But I've only got five. So, <sighs> the Sands need help. Found the apartment of one of the leaders of Vargas Punks. We're going to end this thing ourselves, but there's bound to be some gunplay. It would be good if the police took charge of the situation once the dust settles. Oh, I'm nervous about this because I don't want them to die. I feel like I've just sent two more officers to their fucking death. Two large angry men are fighting on the corner of the bar. Uh, use taser. Easy. Easy. I hope that they don't die, especially Stavall, because he's a good cop. And we've lost enough good cops. <laughs> Alright. What's our next job? Where will the crime come from? Oh. 
Mr. Boyd, my catering company, was preparing the 20th anniversary banquet for the Gallery of Modern Art, but the celebration was cancelled at the last moment. It would be unfortunate if such a mountain of food went to waste. I'm willing to offer it to you and your men for a modest fee. Don't you think your employees would love a delicious dish? Yeah. It's only 300. We could do that. Suicide threat. A young man climbed at the top of the cathedral and is threatening to jump. A crowd of onlookers has gathered underneath the cathedral. Some of them recognize the man and say they are sure he won't jump. He's just had some bad acid and wants some attention. Eh, Samadhi, you can go. Samadhi, don't fuck it up though, he better not jump. <laughs> oh good, they didn't die. Whew. I was worried about that, I was like, oh no, I've just sent another two to their grave. Uh, robbery. A young woman attempted to leave the octopus restaurant without paying. Waitress tried to stop her, but the girl punched her in the head and knocked her unconscious. A guard tried to step in, but the girl disabled him with pepper spray. She then locked herself in the back room, where she can be heard beating something and shouting curses. Alright, we'll wait for Staval to get back, because he is the numero uno in this group. Staval, Vendal, and Fitzsimmons. All right, all right, all right. Suicide threat. This isn't the first time the teenager Gordon uh, Bucher has drawn attention from the police for such a performance. He's never, he was never really planning on jumping. Yeah, I knew that. But you have to go just in case, you know. You don't want to not show up and then have him and then just feel guilty about it. You need to at least have one person there just in, just in case. Alright, Samadhi and Gran are still here. The robbery, we've got. Offender court, officers unharmed. Good, that's what I like to see. Good on you, fellas. Good on you. Now you can all enjoy a feast. That I bought. Fleet Street! Is this a Sweeney Todd thing? <laughs> Alright, um, some of our men just ran into a bunch of punks on the street. We don't know if they're Vargas people, but it would be great to get a couple of uniforms on the scene just in case things go south. Yeah, I agree with that. Staval and Vandal can go. They are the two best people on this shift so far. And probably, probably will remain that for the rest of it. I don't know if I'm planning on hiring anyone else now. Noise complaint. Robert Wilson called a complaint. That his family can't get any sleep on account of noisy neighbors. He says strange people are always coming out and going and they take deliveries at all hours. Mr. Wilson has tolerated it for a long time and has done nothing about it, but his son snuck it out before bedtime and peeked through the neighbor's window. Um, they swear they saw boxes of machine guns. Kids have such imaginations, they can come up with anything. But it might be best if we send over an officer, maybe ask them to keep it down at night. Uh, let's send... Yeah, we'll send Samadhi and, and Fitzsimmons. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good, they didn't die. <laughs> it's like the one thing I'm worried about now, ever since the last episode. I'm just like, oh no, I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> but it's all good, you know, they're, they're surviving. <laughs> It's, they're all surviving, it's good. Situation is more serious than we thought, requesting reinforcements. Alright, everybody can go in then. Fuck it. Everybody. Our entire, our entire squad are in there now. Alright, alright. Homicide report. We've got three new frames. Ooh, what do we got? Um... Okay, let's have a look here. Um, this, this, this. Uh, that, that, and that. Maybe. Maybe we need more frames. Don't know. We might need more frames. 
Alright, so the whole team is over there, and a noise complaint. Offender escape. Oh no! <gasps> My entire team's dead. Oh. <sighs> oh, they're all dead. <laughs> No. I was feeling so good about this episode and now I feel terrible. Alright, um... Gonna leave this episode here. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, favorite it, subscribe. I'm fucking confused, man. There was five of them. Oh, no. We're going to continue this mess next time. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm a confused Popey JN. Peace out. We have eternity together and as lovers we cannot help but drown in all the ecstasy it's in the way we fight it's in that sweet surrender i'm drinking in your poison